Nga mihi o te wā in the headlines, volcanologists are assuring people that this morning's magnitude 4.7 quake in the Bay of Plenty is low-level seismic activity. GNS Science is also emphasising the event is unrelated to White Island, which in erupted on Tuesday night and unlikely to trigger Mount Ruapehu. Craig Miller told RBG News that the recent surge in activity is not connected. These volcanoes are all separate. They all each have their own kind of magmatic plumbing system. They're not really linked in any immediate way. Kua huki mai ngā tū pāpaku a ngā hōia e rua i mate ai i Afghanistan ki o tautahi. Tūtakina a Lance Corporal Prali Dara me Rory Maloney e ngā whānau pani me ngā rangatira i te ope kātua ua o te arua i ngā pō. A pōpō tū ai te tehi karakia a hōia ki te papatumatau i ngā o Burnham hei a mua i te hokinga mai o ngā tū pāpaku ki ngā whānau pani. Police say their investigation into the circumstances of Wednesday's Paritutu rock climbing tragedy is likely to take several weeks. Earlier today, the Education Minister visited the site in New Plymouth and met with the emergency response team looking for the trio. Hekia Parata also passed on her condolences to the families and wider community of the college. In international news, former Algerian Foreign Affairs Minister Lakhdar Brahimi appears to be the man most likely to replace former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan as peace envoy to Syria. Brahimi has worked in several high profile positions at the UN, including as envoy to Afghanistan and Iraq. Back home, over half a million dollars of taxpayer funds was spent on rebranding a government department that only existed for 18 months. The Ministry of Science and Innovation was established in 2010, but has been folded into the new Business Innovation and Employment Ministry. Labour leader David Shearer says it's a colossal waste of taxpayer money at a time when the government is cutting frontline staff and services. In sports, Sir Graham Henry will ply his coaching trade in New Zealand rather than assist other rugby championship nations. Henry will be confirmed as the Blues' technical advisor to Sir John Kerwin. He had been assisting the likes of Argentina as they enter the new Four Nations tournament. And more action for our Olympic athletes. Reigning World K1 200 champion Lisa Carrington will line up in the heats and semi-finals of the new Olympic event tonight, less than 24 hours after contesting the final of the K2 500. Coach Gordon Walker says despite the short turnaround, they've practiced and prepared for the workload. And Brent Newdick has finished a credible 12th in the decathlon. And New Zealand's medal tally is in for a boost tonight. Sailors Joa Lee and Polly Powery are guaranteed either gold or silver in the women's 470 class, while the Black Sticks take on Great Britain for the bronze medal in the women's hockey, and Sarah Walker and Mark Willis are potential medalists in the BMX. Kia kaha ngā toki, wau te rua. Ka anui ngā karere matua mō tēnei wā, nō mai.